Rainblood. There's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the Guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well, in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. other recruits in the barracks. I had thought you a lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she-wolf. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers. May we be of service. What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Whatever is a doctor of the Bridge Alliance doing in the barracks of the new Serene Coin Guard? I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the Guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The Guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The University accepted under two conditions. That the doctors practice only in the territories of the Bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These requests were made official thanks to the Agreement Charter, and I must say we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn, and they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. I have as of yet to present myself. I am Sir de Sardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tiafredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. This doesn't look like the body of young Rayner. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rayner. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. 
What an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. I'm divorced, Thierry. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenant said he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. 
I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Here, you seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof. Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your Lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That would be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? No, thank you. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rainer. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rainer belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. That man was shaking and looking over his shoulder. As if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so? I don't know yet. But I will find out, Siora.
Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Thanks, but I'd rather walk. arriving in my mother's village. Bed rice. There are wild beasts around it. We must be careful. The guys run The red spears know how to defend themselves, but we must be careful on the way there. This is where the spears of all past warriors are gathered. The branches are reclaimed by the tree and bring strength to the village. think you are by what right do you enter the home of our queen i'm the emissary of the congregation of merchants i've come to meet your leader come now arwant you are not a watchdog where is my mother siora i didn't see you you have come too late your mother has gone to wait your war they left for did they only a few hours ago oh no we need to catch up with them 
and avoid the shedding of blood. Please, haste. Very well, then. Let's be off. In order to go towards the Begid Nadagis, we must follow the path leading toward the heights and to the forest. Wait. We should go left here. It's a more difficult path, but it's much shorter. Look at the tracks. They chose to take the path on the right, it would seem. Before a battle, it makes sense that they wanted to avoid a path with more danger. If it is dangerous, let's not risk braving it when time is against us. We risk meeting a great many beasts. But if we follow the warriors, we risk catching up with them too late to sway them. Thanks for listening to me. I fear my mother may have already thrown herself into the battle.
Ascend! You are too late, Ciara. Mother has fallen, and we are defeated. No! 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 This is not fair! I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people? Esel, calm down. You know that Mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. We did our best to come as fast as we could. And I fought by your side. Please, please take the time to at least hear me out. There has already been enough death and you are wounded. This is not the time for vengeance. You may be right. Waiting for my vengeance will make it taste all the sweeter. I feel weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Ciara? I must return to the village. Go on ahead. We will tend to the wounded. Won't we now? Yes. We will do everything we can. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Look at this massacre. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. are very strange. By what name did you call this place again? The Didak Heaton Nadai Gaze. There was once a battle in the past. A great victory for our clans. Hmm. Strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes. It means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the site. You might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwant. He will take care of you. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Another warrior who survived. I do not think that we will find any more of them now. We healed them all, thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet.
beg of you, help me. How dare you dare to breathe? How can you hope that I am here to save you? No, I... What have you done with my mother? Pity, I, I beg of you. I, I don't want to die. Then answer! Siora. Stop. Look at yourself. You're acting like a beast. A beast has far more majesty than these monsters who have traded their souls. The, they have taken her. The queen. They took her. Then she must still be alive. They would not have bothered to carry away a corpse. She would have chosen death before capture. They must have wanted her alive. We must find her. If your mother is in the hands of Bridge, they'd have taken her to the closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back. Was. Let's get closer. This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You've never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. That my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaige. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully until the men appeared from the sea, intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth, ripped down our forests, destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. It is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Oh, people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more, nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine.
On Ormanawi. My mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the Lion's Claws. But you are already busy. We'll talk about it again once you have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. I need a bit of practice. 